What if I told you the oldest religion on earth holds answers to modern chaos? A faith with no founder, no single holy book, but a science of the soul that birthed yoga, calculus, and the concept of zero. Welcome to Hinduism. Not a religion, but a cosmic user manual. Hindus see the universe as a family. Basudaiva Kutumbakam. Every atom, every star, every you is divine. How? Because Brahman, the ultimate reality, isn't a bearded sky god. It's the energy in your phone, the rhythm of your breath, and your deepest self. The Rig Veda asked 3,000 years ago, what was the seed, the origin of creation? Sound familiar? Hindus debated quantum physics before labs existed. Hindus don't worship idols, they worship ideas. Each deity is a Wi-Fi signal to the divine. Ganesha? He's the remover of obstacles, your spiritual delete button. Kali? She's the feminist icon who slays inner demon. You've been aligning your chakras, but never knew Hinduism invented them. Awkward. Karma isn't bad luck. It's cosmic cause and effect. That guy who cut you off? He's just your soul's algebra homework. Hinduism was twisted by invaders. The caste system? A perversion of the original Varna. Meant to honor labor, not enslave it. Cows aren't worshipped. They're ecological partners. Recycling waste into fuel for farmers for 5,000 years. Our scriptures scream equality. No one is superior, non-inferior, but power corrupts, even spirituality. Yoga isn't stretching, it's a weapon. Ancient Hindus used it to hack consciousness. The poses, just 1% of the code. The rest, mind control to unlock moksha, the ultimate software update where you merge with the universe. Hinduism isn't about rituals. It's a rebellion against small thinking. You're not a body, you're the universe asking, what's next? 